Hello everyone. Lucius said Larry 5, welcome back. Uh, that airplane was a little bit loud in my ear. <laughs> Anyways, hey everyone, we are at the airport. And um, there's a lot of things that we can look around here. Uh, da plane, boss, da plane. The sign says you are presently in Los Angeles, Larry. Well, that makes sense. We are outside the Los Angeles airport. Aerodark Airlines has installed one of their exclusive ADMs near the entrance. The small sign on the side of the trash receptacle reads, Hold it till you get to the can. Get it? Get it? I do. A small tasteful bumper sticker on the back of the limo reads, I'm sorry, there was things in my mouth. <laughs> Honk if you can last more than 30 seconds. Huh. This car has been parked here well over the three minute time limit, exactly. That piece of luggage belongs to some other jet setter, Larry. That piece of luggage belongs to some other jet setter, Larry. There, there, there. All right, so um, there's an ATM machine, so let's get some money out of it. And uh, we have to buy a ticket. Some zoom, and we are going to New York first. A hint from L. Low. You can use your number pad to enter your code. The key match in position, i.e., the seven key will press the top left button, etc. Be sure to use only the numeric keypad, not the cursor keys. Uh, please enter the five character destination code from your Aerodork Airline Travel brochure. Nice, and this is the uh, piracy protection uh, unit thing. So I'll be right back. All right, that worked. So we got a boarding pass, and let's take our Aerodor gold card along with us. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we have to go inside the building. Um, which is, uh, I think it's here. It is. All right, so what's going on here? It's Buffy, Aerodork's blonde bombshell. One, she was a highly motivated employee. Um, one, she was a highly trained professional. I'm sorry, I got confused there. One, she never forgot to ask, did you want some fries with that? You appreciate the historical accuracy of an ashtray simulator in public places. Evidently, Aerodork's airline's automated flight handling is efficient. There's not one person waiting in this waiting room. Aerodork has spared no expense to decorate this fabulous gateway. The sign over the door reads Chartreuse Carpet VIP Lounge. This door leads to the exclusive Aerodork Airline VIP Chartreuse Carpet Lounge. The Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce welcomes you to Los Angeles. See movie stars' homes, see the Beverly Hills Wax Museum, see your favorite TV shows actually being taped for future broadcast. Some culture also available. Call for details. It's the second most fun you've had getting wet. Visit Marineland USA. See authentic US Marines swimming, playing, doing tricks. Watch Porca, the killer marine, leap out of the water at feeding time for fish sticks. While you're here in Los Angeles, be sure to visit wonderful Disneyland. Your children will be terrified when they see their favorite cartoon characters running up to them in enormous grinning overstuffed costumes. Or fight when they ride through the bowel loosening haunted house. Disneyland, it's a million trips to the bathroom. Those are uh, pretty funny, if you ask me. How do busy executives stay on top of the world finance? Businessman Financial Hourly, of course. All the financial news you need delivered to your home or office every hour on the hour, all day, all night. Latest markets. Millions of pages a year of the information you need every minute to keep your business from sinking like a rock. 
there's a camera. Oh, I also want to check out that. This counter was once staffed by highly trained, courteous young men and women. Of course, that was when this area was part of the frozen yogurt concession. You have the distinct feeling that someone is watching you. Yeah, but we're going to use that um, thing because we're going to show our cards. And we can enter the VIP lounge. So let's take a little look around here then. The cabinet holds up the coffee maker. You've always admired paintings on velvet. It's just another example of Aerodog's extravagant attitude towards its customers. Freshly brewed coffee just for you. The last time you saw art this nice, you were in Tijuana. All your life, you assumed those snooty private airport waiting rooms were filled with luxurious appointments. Once again, you were wrong. In fact, you'd swear that Aerodork installs that same folding chair in every terminal in every city they serve. How thoughtful. Aerodork has provided a comfortable metal folding chair for your sitting convenience. This is basically... Um, was it two? Where they had all the barber shops that kind of looked the same? I think it was two. This is a similar thing <laughs> on the airports. Near the far door is one of Aerodork Airlines' exclusive ABMs. ABM is an acronym for Automatic Boarding Pass Machine. So far, Aerodork is the only airline to have them. You expect it to remain that way. You know what, let's sit down. That was funny. A voice comes over the public address system. Aerodork Airlines is proud to announce the departure of its charter service to the and Thank you. That speaker is not too clear. Yeah, but we have a boarding pass. Uh, that one that we're going to use there. Your boarding pass is sucked into the slot of the ABM. Well, we have takeoff. All the way to New York. This kind of reminds me of the Indiana Jones games. Or movies, for that matter. Let's take a little look around. For the first game in your life, you are traveling first class. You feel certain you could easily grow accustomed to such luxury. You kick back in the leather seat, relax, and find yourself growing rather sleepy. In fact, you feel too sleepy to even read the stupid Aerodork in Flight magazine in the seat back pocket in front of you. Wait, no. You take the magazine because you never know when you might be having so much fun that you need something boring to read just to calm down. Like now, we're gonna read it. We are going to read it. It's this one, right? Good idea. Save this in case the restroom runs out of paper. Uh, no, we're gonna read it. it seems the magazine just... Doesn't want to work with your body? Well, we're drifting off anyways. That's Patty. In Greece. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sadly, it's not Greece we're in. We are in some sort of stinky thing. Oh, great, you think. Another lousy crowd. And on a Saturday night, too. Too many drinkers and talkers. Too few listeners, you think. Uh, are there no good places left to play? Another grimy week on a grimy stage before another grimy scene in a grimy office with another grimy little nightclub manager. I know, Patty, life isn't that good. Just what did you expect from a club called the Piano Pit, Patty? That's a good question. Finishing your bows, you head for the manager's office. Now, I suppose I'll have to endure another scene with a cheap club manager. The perfect way to top off a perfect week, you think, sarcastically. 
Well, well, you sigh. Chin up. Positive attitude. Right. You feel positive he'll be a jerk. He's sleazy. Well, Andy, you say to the Swarty Club manager, that about wraps it up for me. Looks like you've had another good week. Funny you'd mention that, Patty. I was just getting ready to talk to you. You did enjoy the show, didn't you, Andy? You ask with your best smile. Oh, Patty, it ain't me, you know. I like you just fine, it's just my boss that don't. Julius doesn't much care for small audiences. He says your fans listen too much and drink too little. How ironic, you were thinking just the opposite. He can't see how he and his backers can be expected to make a profit like that. Patty, I'm just going to have to let you go. But Andy, how could you? After all I've done for you. It's not me, honey, he says. You treated me just fine. I'll be sorry to see you go. Well then, give me my pay and I'll get out of here. Uh, he stutters. I, I guess that's the other thing. I, I can't do that. Julia says your contract was never valid, so he doesn't have to pay. What? You explode. Now you're saying I don't even get paid for the week I have worked? I ought to file a grievance with the musician's union. Not exactly shaken, he replies. Do what you have to do, Petty, but if you ever want to work anywhere this town again... His meaning is not lost on you. Goodbye, Andy. Somehow I expected more of you. I don't know why. Petty, take my advice. Play more commercial. Give him what they were like. Uh, a broad as good looking as you could really pull him in if you just get smart. Andy, when I start talking musical criticism from you, when I start taking it from you, I'd appreciate it if someone would just put me out of my misery, you say, leaving his grimy desk. Oh boy. So now what? That pig, you think disgustedly. God, I wish there was some way to get even with these rotten crooks that run this stinking business. Well, maybe there is. Maybe there just is. Poor Patty, once again you're too hip for the room. Entering the brisk night air, you notice a dark figure leaning against the far wall. Evidently, he has noticed you too. You aren't afraid. You've handled enough rough situations before. After all, think of all you went through back in Leisure Suit Larry 3. Betty, I'm Inspector Desmond of your Federal Bureau of Investigation. If it's alright, I'd like to request a few moments of your time. Uh, but of course, Inspector, you reply. Nice trans coat. You too, he smiles, easily recognizing your joke. I'm here on behalf of your country to ask a favor of you. Go ahead, Inspector, but I don't usually grant favors on a first date. Besides, I'm not a private eye type. He smiles again. Oh, you won't have to do that, Petty. You see, you're exactly the type we need. Let me explain. We're right in the middle of a month-long nationwide investigation into the infiltration of organized crime into the entertainment industry. I'm looking for a special someone, someone willing to take some risks, someone without a family, without many social ties, without any extenuating circumstances to get in the way. Someone who understands the music business, who plays an instrument, and who has the looks, brains and talent to be accepted by those insiders we're trying to catch. I know you've been stiffed by these guys, probably many times. I want these guys, and I bet you do too. So, Patty, in short, I need you to go undercover. What do you say? You are taken aback, but considering the requirements, who could be better for the job than you? It would be sweet to get revenge on these guys, not just for tonight's embarrassment, but for all those other times when you gave your talents for a bunch of ingrates. But of course I'll help you, Inspector Desmond, you hear yourself say. After all, I'm recently learned I'm taking next week off. So how do we start? Follow me, Patty. I have a car and driver waiting for us. Ho ho ho. And we are off on a mission, I guess. 
The following morning, in a much nicer area of the city, Petty meets Desmond at FBI headquarters. All right, Petty, here's the deal. We're convinced of organized crime's considerable influence in the entertainment industry. I want you to use your musical talent to help us obtain sufficient evidence to convict the guilty parties. But Inspector, you say worriedly, I know nothing of spying. Don't worry, Petty. Most of the spies we use are amateurs. You won't be licensed to kill. Just keep your eyes and ears open. Learn what you can. Take advantage of any opportunities and try to bring back some hard evidence. We'll make sure you're in the right place at the right time. You'll be doing good for your country. You think, not to mention getting even with those bastards for all the times I've been screwed in the past. All right, Inspector Desmond, you say, but what places and what times? There are two specific areas of concern. One is subliminal messages in popular music. Our studies link the recent nationwide rise in crime to increased popularity of hard rock music. Des Rever Records in Baltimore is heavily involved in such subliminal recordings. Most of the overdubbing at that studio is handled by a young recording engineer named Reverse Bias. The second area is the recent flood of obscene rap recordings. I personally believe records like these are being used by the mob to undermine the moral fiber of our nation's youth. K-Rap Radio in Philadelphia is the headquarters of the rap group Too Live Too Screw, who had an unjustified string of hits recently. I'm sure that place is the center of mob involvement. That's hard to believe, you think? But to Desmond, you say, well, all right, Inspector, but I'm hardly an expert in subliminal recordings or rap music. Oh, don't worry, Patty. With your talents, you can easily fake your way through the simplistic noise these guys pass off as music. After all, they're hardly the MJQ. One more thing. A man we know only as Julius has been connected to both these businesses. I think this Julius character may be the key to the entire problem. Anything you can discover about Julius or K-Rap or Des Rever Records would be helpful. We'll provide you with background information on all the pertinent people, places and groups, but it will be up to you to get in and get out with whatever hard facts you can. Okay boss, I'm on. Now how do I begin? Earlier this morning I set you up with a gig at Des Rever Records as a keyboard sub on a recording session. We've also arranged a short East Coast tour as your cover story. The government will handle all your travel arrangements. First class, of course. Yes, he laughs. First class, of course. I'll get you a private limousine and your own personal driver. And, Patty, if things go well, I'll even set you up with a gig at a White House. Would you like that? Yes, of course, you agree. Afraid now that you're in a way over your head. Come with me, Patty, Desmond says, rising to his feet. We'll get started right now. Now we're in the lab. Welcome to our technical laboratory. This is the head of our office of agent field equipment. Uh, Commander Twit. Commander Twit, meet passionate Patty. So he's the O-A-F-E. Oaf. Oafy. I don't know. Good morning, Patty, says Commander Twit. It's so very nice to meet you. Likewise, Commander, you reply, thinking that this is the first time you ever said that phrase. What is all this beautiful equipment you have here? I've always been very interested in research and researchers. Uh, you have? Twit asks suspiciously. Well, allow me to show you uh, about for a moment before we begin your indoctrination. Oh, I just love a tour, you say, flashing your best smile. Fine, Twit says, obviously charmed. Feel free to explore the lab a bit, Petty. When you're ready, I'll give you some information you'll need. Enjoy your indoctrination, Petty, says Desmond, turning to leave, and especially your physical. Right, so we have entered the lab. And we can take a look around here, but we're going to do that in the future. So thank you very much for watching Leisure Suit Larry 5. And I'll see you next time.